yeah, I mean, uh, I like the beans, the the beans, <laughs> well, baked, baked, baked beans. the baked beans. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say Aguero. He's up there. He's definitely up there. Aguero, man. Top jokers in the team. <laughs> of course. Hello and welcome to episode one of the Academy Fix. I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by our summer signing duo. We've got Callum McFarlane and Christian Sekularak. How are you both doing? Doing good. I'm doing great, thank you. That's to be here. Training going well? Yeah, it is, yeah. Very, very well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been, here, you've been here for a few months now. You joined us in the summer. Do you feel finally now that this place is, is home? Yeah, I think I've, I've settled in well. Um, comfortable now um, and just keep pushing on. That's yeah, yeah, I've, I've settled in pretty, really, really well. Uh, and it's just getting better and better. So, so, yeah, can't wait for what's ahead. You two joined the club at a fairly similar time. Does it in a way help to have someone else who's in a similar boat to you, I guess? Yeah, I think we, we bonded quite early because we were in the same room for Portugal. So we, sit, we shared a room and, and, you know, we're both new, so we kind of had our backs, each other's backs. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, to have someone who's in the same kind of situation as you in the beginning can only be helpful. And, you know, he's a, he's a nice guy as well, so... so. <laughs> Didn't get on each other's nerves. Sometimes it was tough, you know, we had uh, hard moments and stuff, but uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, no, no, he's a great guy, so we bonded yeah, straight away. mate, likewise. Chris, one, one for you. It's a big deal for any, for any person, especially someone a little bit younger, to, to move to a new country, to start, to start new, if you like. How was that process of coming from, from Italy over here? Well, I, I already had that, that kind of process when I, when I moved to Italy from, from Switzerland, so I was kind of already used to to changing everything about your life really so it's never easy you always it always takes time but i think this time uh was was much easier than the first time that that yeah. i've done it and, you, and your family did they all move along with you or they, they yeah they my whole family so my my little sister my mom and my dad they all came with me at the beginning for about two weeks just to help me settle in even even better and uh, right now i just live with with uh, my dad He's, he's here with me and uh, my mum and sister are back home in, uh, in Switzerland. Have there been anything since you've moved to England? Have, have you found any English things that you've, you've become acquainted with? Any food, TV, anything at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I like the beans. The, the beans. <laughs> well, baked, baked, baked beans. The baked beans. Yeah. Baked beans. Uh, <laughs> um, apart from that, no, I mean, I love, I love the culture here, to be fair. I mean, people are really nice and stuff, so. But the, the baked beans are very good. One of the first words you used when you came over here was wagwan. Is that slang as well? <laughs> an element oh of... my God. Nah, listen, that's, that's not for me, so... <laughs> nah, but yeah. Cal, not quite as big of a change for you in terms of location, but still a big switch. How did you find? Yeah, it was, it was definitely a jump up from where I was previously. Um, and I think I've, I've, I've been able to adapt to that change. Um, um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying it and just, again, you know, just keep pushing on and keep striving for better things. And when it comes to your, your pathways, in a way, they, are, they couldn't be more different. Chris, you've you know, spent a lot of your life playing at, uh, within academies at big clubs. That's kind of, are you used to that now, that, that kind of, you know, playing at those clubs? Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, well, before uh, Juventus, I didn't really play in a big club. Uh, I, played, I mean, I played in a, in a good club in, in, in Switzerland, but I mean, the step up from to Juve was was massive. And in the two and a half years I spent there, you know, I learned a lot, which which now I'm able to to use and, and apply here. So, so yeah. And Callum, for you, for you, I mean, you've come here from college football essentially, yeah. so you've yeah. almost jumped past many stages yeah I would say it's um it was it was humbling you know like you come from a background not like you know a big Juventus club or anything like that but you, you just sort of learn to you know take every every stride as it comes and not take anything for granted as well which I think I got from coming from such a different background how much can you remember about when you found out that this move was on I, I, yeah, quite a bit. I remember, um, well, firstly, it was after uh, one, of, one of the games, a, a scout came in and spoke to my coach, and my coach then spoke to me. And then, sort of, you know, from there, communication between, the t between me and the club sort of happened. And yeah, I was, I was very excited, as you would imagine. Um, and yeah, just over the moon, to be honest, and, and glad everything worked out how it did. 
and that jump being so big in terms of where, where you were before, that must be such a proud moment for your family as well. Yeah, my family are very supportive, and so I'm very you know proud to and, and blessed to be with you know have them with me. Um, and they yeah they help me a lot and the, through all the difficult moments you know before Fulham and, and now that I've come to Fulham and they were able to celebrate with me the achievement. Um, yeah, it was very very special to have them there. You two mentioned a few minutes ago the Portugal trip, which was a good way for you two to get to know each other. Was that also really good from a squad perspective, getting to know all the staff and players? Quickly? Yeah, I think that was it definitely helped. Definitely helped. Um, yeah, you, you know, you have some stories to tell afterwards and, 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 and some laughs and jokes. And it was, yeah, it was a very, very good experience and a good way, again, like you said, because you're so close. <clears throat> it's a good way to get to know everyone and talk to everyone. It'd be wrong for me not to mention initiations. Did any of those take place while you were away? Uh, sadly, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. S sadly, okay, they what did. What was your song of choice? Oh, what was mine? Kind of I remember yours, actually. What, what was it? Dancing Queen. Yeah, that was it, by Ava. Yeah. Oh, that was a great choice. I love that. <laughs> to be fair, it's, you're, you're a bit nervous when you go up there, but once you're you know, standing and singing, you, you just get into it. Oh, I loved it. The yeah, I, th I thought it was OK. I thought it was OK. <laughs> and Chris, what was your, what was your choice? In the end? Mine was Am I Wrong? By, oh, yeah. uh, I don't know who sings yeah. the song, but uh, yeah, no, just give us, give us uh, a bit. No, not right now. You know. <laughs> to be honest, I think I had the, the best performance of the of the of the trip, so so I was happy with that. That leads on perfectly to my next question, which was going to be who gave the best performance. You seem pretty confident in your own. Yeah, yours is good. Yours is good. Thank you. A lot of confidence there. Anyone else stand out at all? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> just Chris. <laughs> just Chris. Um, yeah, the, the group dynamic, you can see it, it's really, really good there um, amongst all of you. Why do you think that is? I mean, why do I think that is? I mean, it's just a great bunch of, of people, really. I mean, uh, everyone's like, everyone bonds really well together. There's there's not really groups, you know, in other clubs you have you have groups of people and stuff like this here everyone is everyone is great with with each other so I was really really happy to see that when I came and uh, yeah just a great great bunch of people so I think we just share uh, like a common goal of wanting to work really hard and do the best we can and I think Steve as well he helps us with that you know we're, we're there every day in training working very hard and as a team we're doing that together so yeah it definitely brings us closer and and I guess that's probably why we're, we're such a close group. Yeah. While we're on the topic of teammates, I've just got a few questions. Uh, and you've got to explain your reasoning why as well. Uh, a teammates edition kind of thing here. Who's the biggest squad joker, would you say? For me, I'd say Alex Water. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think that reaction says that's it all. Crazy. That's crazy. I'd say, I'd say he's, and maybe, maybe Idris as well. He, you know, he's, he, <laughs> he jokes around as well. But for me, for me, Alex Water. Funniest guy. That that pick is is a disgrace. <laughs> disgrace. But uh, no, I'm gonna say uh, I would have said Ziad uh, Lakesh, who now went to on loan to Barnsley. But since he's not here anymore, I would say can can we put the camera on on him over there? He's up there. He's definitely up there. Up where, man? Top jokers in the team. Uh, of course. <laughs> one. Nah, he tries, he tries, but he's not that funny. But um it's it's coming. It's coming. That's what I mean, they all get along. How are you? Funniest going funniest teammate. This is just for the cameras, by the way. We're not <laughs> we're, we had no intention We're not actually that close. <laughs> um nah, but yeah. Him. Idris is always one that yeah, comes up. Yeah. I mean his his uh yeah, his initiation with the first team. That did the rounds on yeah. social media. Uh, that was pre pretty funny as well. So, okay, second question. Who's got the worst fashion sense and why? Tough to say because people are, people are lucky here. They all come in. Yeah, uh, they all come in kit. In the okay, Fulham kit. Have you had kits. a chance away from Oxford Park to... Uh... I've seen, I've seen, I haven't seen any, everyone in dress normally mm. outside of, of Fulham. So, um, so um, 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not going to put anyone on the spot. I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't I, seen I, anyone. I can't, I can't say. I can't say. I can't say. Maybe enough. next next interview. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll give you a better. Answer. Keep it in mind though. In a 100 meter race, who would rinse everyone else, and who would be at the back of the pack? That's an easy So we should probably turn the camera to Terry. <laughs> Who's Terry the... Terry's winning it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fair player. enough. Fair enough. It's yes. him. It's, it's him. And uh, up, opposite end of the scale. Uh, I don't like. Oh, I I, usually, I'm, 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 a, I'm a I'm a person who doesn't like to uh, talk bad about other people. But in this case, I'm gonna have to say. Uh, <laughs> George Ocas. Yeah, I was going to say it as well. I have to say. George, you know, top guy. Top guy, but, but not quite. He, has, he has different qualities than speed. Yeah, that's it. That is, that, you worded that well. He has other qualities. Oh, you worded that well. And finally, most intelligent player and why? I'm taking that. Nah, no way. No way. I know I've got an answer. Oli, I think Oli O'Neill. I thought that might be one that comes out. He's no comment. You know, and the, and the quiz night as well. No comment. Everyone wanted him on their team. No comment. I think Oli O'Neill. Oli O'Neill. It's not him. That, that's all we know. It's not him. Good moment, It's been a pretty decent start for you guys this season. Promotion last last year was secured. You're, you're playing against the very best teams, youth teams that this country has to offer. That, that's massive, isn't it, for your development? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, you know. To be the best, you've got to be up against the best, right? And so, as a team, we're trying to play against the best teams and try and, you know, improve from, say, maybe not winning because we're, we, you know, you're never indestructible. But we do our best, and I think we we started really well this season. Um, and so, yeah, just keep going and keep working hard. Yeah, as you said, it's it's important, I think, to play against the best teams in, in the country. So that's what we're doing. I think we're we're doing it well as well. I think uh, we could have we could have had more points than we currently have. Uh, I think in most of the games we we played better than than the opposition. But uh, in, in a few of the games we missed maybe a little something to to get the three points. But you know uh, we, we st we've still done a very good start. So so yeah. One for you, Chris. You've already had some experience spending time with the first team. You were on the bench for the Carabao Cup game at Crawley. Obviously, the result didn't go our way, but that must have been a, still a cool experience for you. Yeah, yeah, it was top, you know, um, just being there with the other first team players and, you know, learning little things from them and stuff like that, you know, it's great. So even when I have a chance to train with them, like, for example, this week, I mean, it's just really, really great to learn off the, the manager as well, Marco Silva and, uh, and all the players. They, they help me a lot, so, so it's great each time that I'm, that I'm called. Are there any players in particular that you, you found really helped you settle in and feel comfortable with, with the older lot? Yeah, I mean, a few. I mean, Kevin Mbabu, who's from uh, Geneva, just like myself. So, comes from the same place as me. So, he's, he's, he's already like a, like a big brother to me. Uh, there's a few other uh, people who speak, uh, who speak French in the, in, the, in the squad, like uh, Issa Diop and, uh, and uh, Kurzawa. So they've also helped me quite a lot, but otherwise, even some of the other players have been really nice to me. Like uh, Harrison Reed has helped me a lot, um, and uh, also Tossin has helped me a lot. So they've all been great to me, to be fair. There are a lot of academy players training with the first team all the time. Marco has made it clear that he likes using young players. One man who I guess has played a big part in improving young players is Steve Wigley. You mentioned him earlier. I don't think I've ever spoken to a 21s player who hasn't said very quickly that he works you into the ground. Is that is that the case? Even, even today, you know, <clears throat> it's supposed to be maybe a bit of a lighter session with the game on Friday, but, you know, we were still working very hard, a lot of hard runs. Um, but I think that's that's what you need as a young player, you know, that that mind mindset of, you know, I'm here to work really hard because your goal is obviously to eventually end up in the first team. And to do that, you're going to have to be a hardworking player. And Steve definitely ingrains that into us, which is very good. Yeah, totally. I mean, if there's one thing you that Steve demands, it's, it's hard work all the time, and that you give 200%. You know, so that's that's the main main thing with Steve, apart from all the other advice that that he gives each player. So, yeah, top coach. And you've seen the success stories already this this season alone. I mean, Luke Harris has spent a lot of time with the first team, just got himself a Wales senior call up. Seeing these players be rewarded for their performances, that must do 
wonders for your motivation. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, right. it's an, almost like, yeah, you want to be in that position as well. So you're, you know, you're, you're motivated, like you said, um, that, you know, you can do it as well. Like you're, you think you can play with these players and, and so, yeah, you're striving for the similar things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think it's a huge motivation because you see that performances are rewarded with, with call-ups with the first team, etc. So that's all you can ask for as a as a as a player who who plays in the in the second team, you know. So. Yeah. Away from Osper Park, when Steve actually lets you leave, <laughs> what do you guys like to get up to in in your spare time? Uh, me personally, I like I like going out quite a lot. Not not during the night, obviously, <laughs> but uh, but just like. Um, you know, in the in the city with friends and just yeah. Any any cool places in London that you, that you've liked to visit since you came over here? Yeah, I live close to um, to Wimbledon, so so you know that whole area is is, is top really. I mean, there's everything you could ask for. So yeah, that's 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 where I am most of the time. Yeah, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to get into my golf. So been to Top Golf a few times, a few driving ranges. Um, you know, we're still, you're still not a good level yet, but one day I'll get there. Okay, and how long have you been playing golf for? Uh, I, st I picked it up sort of like Easter time last, uh, this, this year, just gone. So yeah, a few months. Um, but yeah, we'll track the progress and see where we end up. <laughs> <laughs> Finally guys, uh, the Premier League International Cup, it's just around the corner now. Valencia up first. Something a little bit different, isn't it? That must make it quite exciting for you. Yeah, it's top. I mean, to be fair, like when I joined, I didn't even know about this this competition. So when when I heard about it and, and the teams that are involved, the teams that we're going to be playing against, I was super excited because I mean, it's some of the best teams in the world. So uh, yeah, can't wait really to to show to show to the to all the teams what what we at Fulham can what we at Fulham are, are about really. Yeah, I think it's a it's a different challenge, but you know, like we said earlier, we're here to play the best teams perform well against them so this is just another case to do that so looking yeah. forward to it. Craven Cottage lads am I right in saying this will be your first time playing at the cottage? Yes. And so that's going to be we're expecting a good crowd as well so that's yeah. going to be a great experience for you isn't it? That'll be great. That's, I mean I've, I've yeah. obviously went to Craven a few times just to watch the first yeah. team um, which was a nice experience um, but yeah to play there will be, be great. I'm yeah, really looking forward to it. it's a it's a great stadium as you said we, we've been there quite a few times to, to watch the first team so yeah, to be playing in it would be great, for sure. Lads, we're going to play a game of on the ball now. The rules are simple. You're going to keep the ball up and pass it to each other. Every time you release the ball to the other player, you have to name an answer in a category that I will give you. So, for example, Premier League stadiums. You can have up to three touches if you need a bit more time. Yeah. But if you've got an answer in your head and you want to put the other person under pressure, just ping it straight back at them. Fair and it's enough. first of three points. Sounds good. Let's do all it. The best, all the best. Category number one, things you'd find in a football stadium while a match is being played. Go for it. The goal. Players. The pitch. Fans. A pie. Drinks. <laughs> Seats. The coach. The players. Hey. Did you see it? Players. Oh hey. no! <laughs> One nil to Chris. See, you said coach, and I was like, okay, that's the path I'm gonna go. Lads, category number two: current Premier League strikers. Mitrovic. Neil Mopay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say Aguero. <laughs> Threw him off, mate. <laughs> I've got Neil Mopay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I, I can't no, lie, no, my, no, that my, was my terrible. There, but. That was terrible. Category number three is capital cities. Okay. London. Vienna. Paris. Ah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that was good. No, the first me. time. It's just part of the Talk game. Talk about football stuff, man. <laughs> okay, two ones to Cal. First of three, so Cal, if you can get this, you win. Category number four is things you find in a kitchen. Okay. Knives. Dishwasher. Sink. Plate. Bowl. 
<laughs> Whoa. Winner! Whoa. Winner! Winner! How does it feel, Cal? And there's a nutmeg in there at the end as well. That's top. Guys, you've had some fans also sending some questions for you as well, so um, I'll crack right on with these. Rowan has asked, which first team player impresses you the most in training? You take so this is for me? Yeah, go for it. Uh, first of all, they're all very good, uh, just to get that out there. Uh, but who impressed me the most? Probably Andreas Pereira. Yeah. Just his speed. His, his technique, technique, yeah. His yeah. dribble, his passing, shooting, he's got everything. So he's a really good player. Sunset Rub Down, interesting, it's interesting name on Instagram. I've asked, this is one for you as well, Chris, actually. Are you in any way related to Yugoslavian great Dragoslav Sekulorak? Yeah, that's my great uncle. Uh, I'm immensely proud that, that I'm related to him because obviously of what, uh, what a footballer he was. Uh, I didn't actually, he died a few years ago, so I, I never actually got the chance to meet him. Uh, but I mean, my dad and my whole family always talk to me about him and what, what kind of player he was. So it's a, it's a huge pride to that, that, you know, that, that I'm part of, that I was part of his family. You know, so. Yeah. This is one for both of you. Finn Carrigan has asked, what's your current favourite TV series and why? Well, I mean, I just like to slap on Rick and Morty when I get home. <laughs> sort of just chill to that. <laughs> No judgment, uh, man, yeah, you? no, it's good. It's, it's creative, but uh, <laughs> it's not one that I'm sort of, yeah, it's just sort of like have to, to have one in the background while you're maybe just relaxing at home. So. Uh, I'm not too much of a, like, I don't watch movies or TV shows too much, but uh, if I had to say one, I like Top Boy nice. quite oh, a good, lot, yeah. or I mean, if I, if I had to say my favorites, Prison Break is one of my favorites. Um, I'm watching one right now. Uh, Euphoria? I don't know if that's how you say it, but... Sounds like you do watch a lot of... No, 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 no. From time to time, you know, from time to time. But uh, yeah, those are my favourites. Dodd Got Pace has asked, would you rather score a goal in a Champions League final or a World Cup final? Champions League final or World, or World Cup final? World Cup final, for sure. Yeah, for me, that's an easy one. For World sure, Cup that's final, easy. Yeah. Nothing like it, right? Yeah, nah. got representing your country at the highest level, I think. Yeah. yeah. And of course, scoring the winner, yeah. Niko Lenormovic has asked, who was your favourite player growing up and why? It's quite a boring answer, but just, you know, Ronaldo and Messi, just, you know, seeing how they both challenged each other and pushed each other to achieve what they did. I think that was inspiring. So I'll just say that. Uh, mine was always uh, Zidane, uh, just because I mean, he was a, a magician, you know, and I like these kind of players who bring magic, you know, who, who the fans want to come and watch. So, yeah, Zidane. One of the best first touches in the game ever, right? For sure. Chris GY97 has asked, this one's a little bit more out there. If you could have any animal as a pet and it won't try and eat you or kill you, which animal would you choose <laughs> and why? <laughs> and it wouldn't try to kill me. It wouldn't try, yeah. So we're, we're, that's important. That's appreciated. Yeah, it is. That's yeah. important. It's a game uh, <laughs> I think I'd, I've still got two answers, actually. I've got, so firstly, a tiger, because they're just, they're cool. Like, you see pictures like Mike Tyson with his tiger, like that. <laughs> that looks cool. And then, um, yeah, I'd probably say the second choice is a pig. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, they're, that's, they're cute. That's Callum for you. The, uh, <laughs> no, but they, they're cute that. animals. They're so cute, and they actually like they can swim as well, which I didn't know. But, but they they can, and they're, they're, yeah, they're cute. So I'd probably say those two. I would say uh, tough question. Um, a pigeon. A pigeon. Just well, you've hang on, hang on, hang on. You, you've yeah. taken the makeup. You're saying pig. You're going pigeon. And an ant. An ant. Yeah. yeah. None of them are going to eat you. Though. Sounds, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. No, they're not going to eat. None of them are going to eat you. When I read that question, I didn't think that we get pig and pigeon personally, but no judgment. I think the only dangerous animal there was tiger. Hey. Well, thanks for watching the Academy Fix episode one, boys. Cal, thanks for joining me, mate. Top, Appreciate man. it. My pleasure. Thanks for joining me.